All right, so it turns out the most prominent force in Dressrosa is Bart pulling his pants down and threatening everybody to pee on them. That's where we're at right now. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and yes, the chaos of Dressrosa continues. Last episode, we got the, the smallest of teases with whenever Dolvamingo met Law, and little tiny Law had just grenades strapped to him, talking about where he's from, and I guess like just how unhinged he really was as a child. I think it's slow gonna like drip more and more information like that as it goes and i would recap more but honestly there's so much happening in dress rosa it would take forever drop a fat like on this one if you haven't already it does help me out quite a bit and let's just hop into this reaction today <gasps> wait are we gonna get more backstory give me more to flamingo oh wait who's oh wait bellamy he made it oh shoot what would he say to him no, no, that makes no. Yeah, that's that's a fair question. He lies, liar. Oh, I'm shocked Bellamy would even confront him like this. What was his purpose? Wait, he didn't care about being a pirate. He just wanted to destroy everything. Does that like break Bellamy? Because he like he always assumed that like pirate was like the end goal. Oh my gosh. What was happening? What's going on? Oh yeah, he had a diff completely different perception of Doflamingo, I guess. <laughs> sure, dude, yeah! Let's not elaborate! Oh, Suleiman versus Dallinger? Interesting. I said this is what it was setting up, the family versus these fighters from the Coliseum. I mean, they were supposed to fight originally, the family was. Come on, Suleiman, lock in! Dude, specialty. What his his legs, his feet? The kicking. Oh my gosh! That's what the hat is for. Damn! What a miscalculation! Oh my gosh! That was, that was brutal, bro. He one tapped him. Killed Soimon. Damn! Tricked him. I think it was his legs. It was all his head. And here's the family. Dude, it is straight up a war. Why do I have a feeling Chin Zhao could take them all on? Dude, the way he just like leaps is funny in and of itself. It's like he just springboards off nothing. What is he grabbing onto, man? What? He set mines? Yeah, I don't think they're just gonna run past the executives of the family. Like this is the biggest roadblock. Damn! 10 tons! Bro, how is he not just dead instantly? Or Lumbus versus Lao G. Fragile! There's the G! G! Am I brainwashed or something? Oh! He said G. <laughs> Bro! He's so fast! Damn! And he's funny, but he's no joke, man. Nothing to mess with. I mean, even Baby 5 is a freaking just, yeah, a disaster to deal with. I think the family actually does have these fighters outmatched. This is the first time we are. And then Sabo fighting Fujitora. I see fire, I'm gonna think Sabo. Oh my gosh. I forgot Delphamingo's controlling some people down here. How does Fujitora not see stuff like this? Be like, yeah, Doflamingo's the number one common enemy right now. Oh, damn. Oh, cool. They're just like banding together, trying to save the town. Nice. I thought this was just like a pacing moment. The townspeople are actually like, they actually have morals. That's crazy. Trying to save what they, what, what, scrape together what they have still. Oh my gosh, it was up. It's over. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that would be mind-blowing to see King Riku just standing there and Usopp! Oh, wait. He set the town on fire? Oh, bro, I thought it was sad, but I'm gonna be honest. So if I see brooms, I'm supposed to assume it's like a civilian that's trying to help? What are they gonna do? Oh, wait, no, they're trying to capture Riku? Take oh my gosh, man. Oh my never mind, bro. 
like an army coming for Usopp now. Good luck, guys. With you and your brooms. Oh my gosh. Sure, they have numbers, but that's goofy. Oh my gosh, bro. Again, so much to think about. I forgot about Kidamon looking for Conjuro. Is someone snoring? What kind of snore is that, bro? Is it Conjuro? Is this how he finally finds him? How can you not immediately tell where it's coming from? What? It's like an indent in the wall? What kind of snoring even is that, man? Can we leave? Really? Guys! Oh no. The sad tank. The, the Tentatas are really strong, right? Couldn't they fight back now? I mean, these are just like regular grunts. Oh, that's right. That's right. They were tricked into thinking Mon Cherie is sick. At least I'm assuming they were tricked. There's no way she's actually sick. But they admitted that she's not, right? And like they like how they admitted how gullible they are. Yeah. I mean, the Tentatas are very gullible though. We've seen it already. Uh, Usopp tricked. Oh my gosh. They have a giant rescue squad. What are they gonna do? Are they finally going to break in, actually? Oh my gosh! From inside, unlock. <gasps> they're, they're like, this is it! Get it open and we're coming in! Ooh, actually smart. Actually smart. Unlock the door. This is going to make a break for it. Dude, there's so many. That's insane. Why did I not even think about that? Like, the best way in is for them to just open the door and then they just all book it inside. Seems pretty foolproof, too. I won't lie. I mean, the only one here is Senor Pink and Frankie's got him busy. They need more messages? We got fooled? Oh, the same monastery isn't sick. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Fight! I like that, dude. The revolution! I mean, I feel like the Tantanas are strong, too. Like, they could take out these guys. Especially if they know Manchuri isn't in danger. Oh, shoot. It's go time, baby. And the, I, I don't know the, how many workers are here. Like, this has to go decently well. All right, some progress made on the factory side of things. A double G's! Oh, no. He's firing on all cylinders, man. Dude, he's so much like uh, the one girl with a really annoying laugh from Whiskey Peak. That was part of the Baroque works. She just left mines everywhere. Yeah, like I said, I kind of bet on the family on this side of things, though. A gathering of comedians? What kind of trash talk is that? A light version. I like how he specifies. How many how many warm-ups does he need for light version? Oh. Oh, there's our MC. Dude, the funny thing is, he's still just carrying law. Elizabella with a fully charged punch could defeat Doflamingo. That's the funniest part about all this. I think, genuinely. I think a fully charged Elizabella punch could defeat anyone or anything. Oh. <gasps> He's helping? Dang! Cavendish W! Oh my gosh, he's growing on me, man. He's growing on me. This is shocking. He's giving up, like, fame. Wait, Kiros is on the horse. How did I realize that? How did I not even see him? Am I stupid? Oh, wait, no, it was like a joke. He was, like, already there. Just now! <laughs> Dude, I want Rebecca to have to reunite so bad. Dude, that's where the whole war is going to go down, the sunflower field. Oh, I guess in the, the palace, too. <laughs> Law is so over this, bro. One man in the top executive? Oh, Diamante. Oh, so it's going to build for him to fight Diamante. Oh, that's going to be gas, bro. Oh, wait, wait what? Did they just see all of them fighting? Chinjo! Are they like inspired by this? What is happening? It's kind of a cool visual though. Like all of them like golden. Oh, damn. Hell yeah.
like filled with like confidence. Dang, they're all setting aside their pride. Holy! Keep the executives here unless, dude! Oh my gosh! These some real ones, man. We've met so many like comrades during all this. It's so cool. Look at this group, this scrappy group. Who would have thought coming out of the Coliseum, we'd end up here. Hey man, Luffy brings people together. It's just how it is. I just want Law to be free, man. All right, the slow but sure track to Doflamingo's Palace continues. 691, let's go. Nah, this is where like all, all their, their team is gonna come flying in. Chin Chow, all of them, uh-huh. Dude, I love Elizabella's design, I think the most out of all of them, out of like that group. I don't know why it's so just standard, like King, like a fit. Hey, Ideo's is really cool too, though. Actually, no, Ideo maybe. It's the eyeliner, bro. Look how much they can accomplish when they're not just all trying to get to Doflamingo. They're really just gonna go ahead? I was gonna say the executives won't let that just happen. Hey, go Sai? Or is this Boo? I get Sly and Boo mixed up, man. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I've ever known which is which because they're always a pair. <laughs> Gee! He just planted a mine. Oh, they're dead. Dude, I kind of want to like tier list all of the Don Quixote family based on like their design and their powers. They're all so different. Like it's, it's the most varying forces I've ever seen. Where is uh where is Buffalo? Is he like at the palace still? I guess he got kind of injured whenever Kyojuro made uh, the freaking like run for Doflamingo and cut him. Elizabello versus freaking Dellinger, bro. Oh nah, bro. I mean, someone has to take Dellinger down. So that's his trick. He's like he uses his legs and his head. They have to like concentrate on what. Oh my! I was even pistol high heel. He didn't even touch him with his heel. He touched him with the front of his foot. That doesn't make sense. I mean, even if the troops get taken down, it's like, it's about getting Luffy there. Somebody help Elizabeth, please. Gotta work together, boys. Dude, the sound effect is so good for Machivese. Oh, damn! The only one that can take a giant down. It, it kind of makes sense. Dude, this is the longest run to the palace. I I, I kind of am not really over Moosey dying, by the way. I feel like he didn't get a proper end. But oh, let's be honest, this is one piece. If I didn't see a hole in Moosey's chest, he very well may be just popping up at the end of this, uh, at the end of things. It's like, oh, Moosey, you're good. Nice. I mean, bro got Luffy so far. Dude, Dellinger's just gonna kill everyone. Luffy, don't look back. Just keep going, man. Oh. Oh, he's embedded in him. Damn, Jigga Chad. He said, don't worry about me, boy. Don't worry about me. Dude, this horse is from the freaking Matrix, bro. Dodging all these bullets. Oh my gosh, just terrible aim. Bro, Cavendish even awake is kind of busted. I get why his bounty was so high. What was like 180 mil? Something like that. I get it, man. Even without a devil fur, he's busted. Not to mention what happens when he's freaking asleep, man. Honestly, whenever we get to the top, he should just like down some NyQuil and try to pass out. Oh wait, the oh yeah, back to the back to the junkyard. They are so far underground, it's insane. Okay, if this all leads up to him like it not being the freaking samurai that that Kinemon's looking for, I'm gonna be pissed. I already forgot his name again. I'm so sorry. I forgot his name so many times. Oh. What's happening here? That's a cool, like, looking design. Oh, he's got a blade. Could be the samurai. It was just like a fake piece of wall. Oh, it is him! Dude, is that his hair? Wait, is that a paintbrush? It's not a blade? What? What is that cabbage? Oh, Conjuro, Conjuro. It is him. You found him, finally. Oh my gosh, man. Oh my gosh, man. Okay, cool. It, it didn't tease me and it didn't build all that up. He finally found the samurai. Looks like a freaking unit too, man. Oh wait, he's about as tall as Kinemon. Dude, is everybody from Wano just freaking insanely tall? Can we see him? <laughs> to say the least, bro. 
It is a giant paintbrush. Samurai from Water Kingdom, evening shower conjure. Well, he looks sick. Is he holding like a head of lettuce? He's got an interesting design. Dude, what? I, I just want to know what the, the, sam the, the samurai like brush thing is. So this is who he left behind when he went after Momonosuke. Oh. <laughs> what a laugh, bro. His name is Kondro and he's like, Is my sorcery. Did he draw that? What? Can he draw food and like manifest it? Let me busted. I don't know how good it'd be in combat, but it is lettuce. Oh, he's just so happy to see him. It's sweet. Dude, who knows if Momonosuke is okay, man? Aww. Dude, Kondro seems like such a chill, like a chill viber, man. Bro just doesn't give a damn about where they are. Can he like paint a ladder? No way, man. What? <laughs> he's so like dramatic with like the sound effects. Oh wait, he's drawing a, a a chicken. Okay, this has to be a devil fruit, right? Like it's not it's not just a blade. It's like his devil fruit power. I uh, Kinemon's looking on like yeah yeah do it. Yo, that's crazy. The style of it is really cool. That's kind of cracked, man. I'm not gonna lie. You can try anything. Oh my gosh. Then the bird can just fly him out. <laughs> oh, because he didn't draw a strong enough bird. He could have drawn any bird. He drew like this tiny little baby like sparrow. Oh my gosh. So it's like an irony that he's like a bad artist. Kaka. Dude, this poor bird. You're just going to leave all these guys? They can help. Oh, they're going to take pity on them and try to get them out. <laughs> what? Dude! He actually just painted ladders! Wait, Conjuro's busted! A pictorial ladder. <laughs> oh my gosh. Interesting, okay. Oh my gosh, finally that sort of loose end is tied up a bit. He found him. He's got one of the more interesting devil fruit powers. Dude, how many people is Dellinger gonna take out alone, bro? This is insane. He's wiping our forces. Luffy, stop looking back. Oh, he's on Kyodro's like shoulders. No way we're flashing back to this. It's all fake? What? What is Blood Waffling about? Yeah. I thought this was kind of just like agreed upon. I don't think anybody's waiting for the end of the game. Oh, at least in this group is waiting for the end of the game. Like they want to go take out Del Flamingo and then finish things. There's so much happening, bro. It's insane. Yeah, he loves the chaos. So long as a part of him is like happy that the toys got turned into humans and he just gets to see so much death. It was a pretty big mistake to bring in so many people for the Coliseum event. Yeah, I think that was hella miscalculated. Like, shoot yourself in the foot, like, banking on them being toys. Yeah, I think Kyodro's the only one that's like, yeah, I, I listen, dude, I've got some eyes on someone else. Thirty years? You, you can't wait, Luffy. You're not even that old. How old is Luffy at this point? Like nineteen? Because I think I think he was like sixteen or seventeen when it started, and then two year time skip plus a little bit more time. How close are they? Do we get a wide shot? Oh wait, what? Where are they? What? Who's stepping towards them? It has to be a family member, right? Who sounds like that though? It has to be something big because it's got that them steps, like the Kuma steps. Oh, what the? F what the hell? Giant toy soldiers. Oh, they're creepy. They cannot be that strong, man. There's no way. I'm guessing no flamingos like moving them with strings. That was some top tier 
pacing from Toei there with Cavendish's like three, four minute monologue. He's like, guys, guys, we're thinking about this all wrong. It's all a trap. And I'm just like, yeah, I, I, I think I think we're on the same page here, Cavendish. Oh my gosh. Finally, we meet Kondro, the person who I've, I've forgotten his name so many times. I don't know why, but just with like anime in general, some names just instantly click with me and I can remember them. And some, it just, it takes forever. I think now that I have a face to put with the name Kondro, it will be a little bit easier, but it is a very interesting devil fruit power. And I'm glad we got to get introduced to it very quickly. Like it introduced the fact that he can even make food for himself, make a creature that is like inherently alive, make these ladders and quickly introduce the irony that he's not a great artist. Like that's just amazing. That's the most one piece twist on it. Anything else, if he had this power, he'd just be this fantastic artist. But the one piece twist, it, it has to be completely just sideways is the fact that he's not, I mean, he's decent, but like he couldn't even draw the ladder straight. It's just amazing, man. It's just, that's how it is. But like I said, the long run up to the palace continues, but slowly and surely lines are merging. Paths are crossing and there's only going to be so many loose ends left. I mean, heck, they're even jailbreaking the entire factory and I don't think they're going to put up that much of a fight because it's Frankie, all the Tontadas against like Senor Pink and I guess the grunts inside. But guys, that has been it for my reaction today. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure you leave a like on this one. It does help me out quite a bit and I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.